Welcome back, y'all. It's Kesha here. This I'm Diamond Wolf. Welcome back to my new video, guys. Welcome to my channel. As y'all can see, I changed a lot going on this channel. Now I'd be streaming on Twitch. I'll get to that. Uh, well, yeah. Don't worry about all that, you know. New things are coming. I'm finally making time to make these videos, to drop these bangers and give y'all some good entertainment when y'all are at home chilling, cooling, bored AF, in class, at work. It don't matter. I got you, okay? I got you moving forward. Don't stress, all right? So if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, guys. Support the kid, all right? Like, share the video. And yeah, about to get into this juicy story time here. All right, guys. So today's story time, as you can see in the description, in the caption, description, whatever, the title of the video, uh, it's it's the, the the moment I realized, okay, that my boss is either ignorant or just straight up racist. <laughs> to this day, I don't know which one it was. All right. So I used to work at this clinic as an admin. Okay. Now, the nature of my job was not only admin work, but also be a low-key nurse. Didn't know I had the credentials for that, but hey, what can I say, right? Not my place. I'm just doing what I was told, whatever. Gotta listen to the boss, see? So, <laughs> he did, he, he'd said, he would say some slick-ish here and there, and you just don't pay him mind, because you're like, he can't be serious. You're like, alright, cool, cool, whatever. Oh, like, mm, mm, I'll, I'll let it be, right? You let it go, whatever, right? So, one day I mind my own business, doing my work. Oh boy. Okay, let's give him the name Venic. Let's go with that, okay? But anyways, so Venic, right? He was the type where he didn't like confrontation. He would just always say something without thinking, in my opinion. At least that's how it came off very lazy now that i think about it like extremely lazy like he would need to be doing something but he would casually he would spend the time to walk from his office to the front desk to be like hey i got this due in like an hour i need to drop everything and do it the time you spent walking to me you could have just done it i'm sorry but you could have literally said like he would sit there in the office do literally nothing just listening to stuff sometimes he's watching stuff and then he'll be like oh I have like a deadline and he would literally get out of instead of just working on it he would get out of his desk okay walk out his office all the way to the front desk and be like yeah so I have my deadline like in an hour I need to drop everything and do it and then send it to me so I could send it to the person and I mean like what were you doing all day you know what I mean so now you kind of get an idea of why he is or whatever just wait because he gets better, all right? So one day I mind my own business, do my job. Answer them phone calls, get paperwork ready for the next day so that when the morning staff comes in, um, they can just do it up, right? So I was one of those staff where my main job was to be there in the evening tonight to get all the paperwork done, all the system stuff done, any like data entry, um prep work anything like that i'm supposed to get done for the next day sometimes for the whole week don't ask me how i got those done in five hours i guess i'm just that lit but i got it done all right so that was that was supposed to be my main purpose there but because i was that lit and that fire sometimes what they would do is they would have me come in in the daytime to help out with the morning staff so I'm there being a secretary, nurse, all of, all of the above. So my job title went from being front desk at night or the night clerk or whatever you want to call it to being the nurse that would like, you have no idea how I jumped around. My job wasn't really like cross trained like that. It was really just, yeah, it's pretty much what you do at night, but like in live action with people around. And I'm like, right. Okay. That makes sense. So whatever I figured out figure it out like I'm a quick learner whatever right so my main purpose so I'm there I'm there one night my own business doing my work and um <laughs> I remember this conversation like it was yesterday because I'm still like 
I'm still so like shook that this conversation happened. So I'm doing my work and he pulls up. So I'm at work by myself. Everyone literally left. Hey, hey, Kesha, what's good? I'm out. Like, you know, it's good seeing you, blah, blah, blah. See you tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. They're gone. Just me. Doing my things, right? Doing that boom, boom on the phone, boom, boom. Just doing me. This man walks into the office and he looks at me. He's like, did you always have that car? So I don't know. Y'all may not know this, but I had two cars before my current car, okay? My very first car when I got my, my license, so in Canada we have like the G1, the G2, and the, G, the full G. So it's written test, so you can learn how to drive. The G2 where, you know, you can drive, but there's still a bit of parameters, kind of. Like you're not technically supposed to go on the highway. It's like there's different, like there's still parameters, but you're allowed to drive on the road by yourself. And there's the full G where, well, just do you, like I don't care, right? So when I first got my G2, I had a red, I had a red car, a red Hyundai Accent. Love that car. That was my baby Ruby. Love that car. Okay. Had it for a bit, and then I had some homies hook me up at the car dealership. They just loved me, so they hooked me on up. That's when I had my BMW. So in this current, in this story, I don't have my Benz. I have my BMW at the moment, a black BMW. Okay. This was like. What was this? The 320i, I think it was? Pretty sure it was that. So, cool, right? Okay, now you got some context. So, he didn't know that I swapped cars or got a new car or whatever, right? So, he's like, the first, so this, this story has two parts. The first one, he's like, oh, um, that's a nice red car you got. And I was like, oh, thanks. Like, I got it a couple months ago. He's like, I know you're driving, but I didn't realize like the car you had. And I was like, yeah, like it's just like a temp kind of thing right, right now. Anyways, just to get me, you know, some good insurance, whatever, whatever. And he's like, oh, how much did you spend on it? So now, pause. If y'all know Kijiji, y'all know how that ish work. People are trying to get rid of things, right? The best place to get your car if you're just trying to get a quick first car. Where, or heck, people use it literally all their lives. Like they just don't want to go to dealership to deal with all that, right? So when I bought a car right out, decent price, cool, I'm on my way, right? So, Kijiji. So I told him, okay, so resume. So I tell him, like, I got my car, uh, Kijiji. And he's like, Kijiji? I'm like, yeah, like, the seller's website? And he's like, oh, okay, cool, how much? And I was like, oh, like, I don't know, like, maybe 500 for it? And he's like, you paid 500 for that? And I'm like, yeah, it's not like it's a new car anyways. It was a 05 if I remember correctly. So I'm like, yeah, it's an older model. And the guy was just trying to get like, people on Kijiji, they, they, they need the space or something or they're just trying to make the money quickly. He didn't need it, so he just sold it and gave it to me five. And he's like, and it wasn't stolen? And I'm here like... Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. But I prom <laughs> I looked at him and I was like, well, the police hasn't come and arrest me since I got it, so I guess it wasn't stolen. And he's like, oh no, I just mean like for so cheap, I would expect it to be more. And I'm like, yeah, I would too. But like I said, people, like prices vary when you're buying on Kijiji. You can get a really good deal on a car, or you can get a really crappy deal on a car. Like it's it's like literally anything in like a marketplace kind of selling setting, right? So he's like, oh, okay, and I'm like, uh huh. That was the first one. Okay, stay tuned. I got you. The second time I had this conversation with him, I promise you, I felt so heated. I'm like, I want to cuss him out. I want to cuss him out. But Jesus, let me tell you, God, he knows what he's doing. Cause he, when I say I sat there like, I'm about to rip you to shred. Y'all know this conversation happened like a week or two before I got my new car. It's, huh, okay. Same kind of setup, all right? Mind my own business, doing my work. This is my purpose at this job, right? I'm doing it up. Typing away, do my paperwork, getting it done, picking up the clothes, the calls. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, boom, boom. All right, cool. Bye. Doing it up. All right, getting through the paperwork. Cool. He comes to me and he's like, "Is that your 
BMW outside and I was like, yes. Mind you, usually when people come and ask me about certain stuff, like I'm not the type to flaunt or anything. So when people come and ask me things, I'm here. Sometimes I generally for like I forget. It sounds ridiculous, but it, it takes me a minute. Like that's just how, I don't know. Okay, so he comes and asks me, is that your BMW outside? And I'm like, if it's black, yes. And he's like, like, yeah, and the employee in the parking lot. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's mine. He's like, is it expensive? And I'm like, well, I pay, you know, like 300, like, I don't know. What did I tell him? I was like, I pay like, I don't know, 300 like bi-weekly or something like that. And he's like, all of that? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, and it's new? And I'm like, well, it's newly used, but yeah, technically it's new, yeah. Like the person didn't really use it like that, you know? Like, I just got the car, like I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna say. So he's like, whoa, okay, that's a lot of money though. And you went to the dealership and everything. And I'm like, yes, I went to the dealership. So at this point, I'm like tensing up because I'm like, what is this man trying to say? Like, where is he going with this? Because I'm about to cuss you out real quick. And like, I'm a very respectful person, but I'm one of those people, like, you know those like sayings or those memes where it's like, you get what you give? Like, if you, as long as you, like, I don't care of your age or whatever, but like, as, lo as, as long as you respect me, I'll respect you back. That is me. To the T. That is me, okay? Like, as long as you respect me, I got you, all right? I ain't gonna bother with you. Don't worry about it. Disrespect me and just walk, just catch it. Catch it real quick, because you're, it, it's coming, right? So, I'm, so I stopped working and I looked at him and I was like, yeah, I have, like, I met some people at a dealership. They're my homies now. They hooked me on up. And he's like, and this one's not stolen. I'm like, none of my cars that I get is stolen. Why, why do you keep asking that? Do I look like the type of person to go and get a stolen car? What do I look like to you? Like, I understand that your place of business is in the hood, but not every hood person steals. Hey, half of us don't even care. We work for a living. Does it look like we have time for that? So I looked at him and I'm like, like, I, 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 like I'm literally like the heck. So I tell him, I'm like, yeah, does it, like, do I look like the type to get a stolen car? I'm here all the time. With what time do I have to go get a stolen car? Please tell me. And he's, mind you, because sometimes he would have me coming on weekends. Like, I'm supposed to work Monday to Friday, right? And I'm part-time. But he'll have me stay extra hours. Or sometimes he'll be like, oh, I'll pay you extra if you do this. Or, you know, coming on the weekend. So there is times where I work literally Monday right back to Monday. So I'm here like, does it look like I have time to steal a car? Like at this point now, you're coming at me. You're being disrespectful. That's very offensive for you to say. Pardon? So, ooh, the best way to explain how the whole staff is set up, right? You have one, two, three, you had like three Latinos. You had me and my sister who were the black ones there. Okay, you had one, two, three, about three to four Filipinos, give or take. He usually hired females because apparently they're less problematic and people are more likely to have a pleasant experience in an office if there's females. None of my business. So that's the best way to like, so it's not like our entire staff is white and then I'm the like only black. Okay, he's a white man. But like, yeah, okay, cool. So diverse staff, even the doctors, I think there was like one, two, two white doctors. Oh no, three if you included his father. So three white doctors, there was a, uh, a Persian one. Oh, she was so sweet, loved her to death. Uh, and there was also a Indian doctor. So the staff itself was diverse. But I don't know if he just never interacted with like the diversity of people. I don't know. I don't know, man. Because sometimes he says things and you just want to punch him in the throat. Trust me, I cussed him multiple times because I'm like, don't be, don't, don't, don't do that. But yeah, so 
car situation, right? So I'm there like, at this point I'm really, like I'm getting agitated because like, what are you trying to say? You trying to say like I can't afford nothing? Is that what you're trying to say? Like what? What are you trying to say? So he's like, wow, like that's such an expensive car and you have to pay that like bi-weekly, not even monthly. Like, that's crazy. And I'm like, well, if I pay bi-weekly, the payment will be like done sooner rather than later. If I do it monthly, sorry, because it's like one, like it's only like 12 payments the entire year, it will be like a slower to finish rather than me paying like, you know, every other week. So I just chose to do every other week. So y'all, uh, you know how my life is with this camera, so cool anyways back to the story so you know getting really irritated whatever so i'm telling him like i chose to pay bi-weekly like i would fig i figured it would get the what's it called the payments done sooner whatever whatever and he's like but the car is like yours yours like you bought it and i'm like that's pretty much what financing is like i bought the car i'm just paying for it thus a car payment bi-weekly like what are you asking me you know what this like you know what it is like i'm not leasing it so I don't have those parameters. I bought the car, essentially, right? It's just the bank paid for it and now I'm paying back the bank. I bought the car. <laughs> so he's looking at me like, what? So he's like, whoa, like, that's crazy. Like how, like, how? And I'm like, what do you mean how? He's like, but that's like, isn't that not expensive? I'm like, you pay me every other week. You tell me. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I mean, like, is this man serious? I'm like, you do realize you pay me, right? I work here. You pay me. Huh? Like, at this point, I'm so confused, right? And at the time, like, I was really just working the one job because I always picked up hours, so I didn't care to get another job. Um, don't worry about it. But, like, I literally looked at him, and I'm like, you do realize you pay me bi-weekly, right? My car payments come out when you pay me. I'm here all the time. So no, my car is not stolen. I don't know why you think I get a stolen car. Like there's so many ways to get a car legally. What like, first of all, that's a lot of effort. Okay, I'm in school, I have work. Like I'm here trying to get my life together so I can do what I wanna do. Like the, the last thing I have time for is to come up with a plan to then execute to steal a car. My guy, what? So I'm like, I work, I go to school, I have no time to steal a car. So that's number one. So no, the car's not stolen. Number two, you pay me. I work with, I work for you and your family. What, what? Hmm? You pay me every other week. So yes, I decided to make an investment and get me a car. It just happened to be a nice car because the homies hooked me up. Was I gonna say no? Of course not. I'm getting a, I'm getting some nice deals and I'm getting hooked up on some lit not girl. What are you talking about? Right? So I'm here like so no, the car's not stolen. I yes, I made the investment. You pay me. Of course I can afford it. Would I have gotten if I couldn't? No. You did you not see the car I had before? Did you not see the car I had before? That was because I didn't have money like that at the time. I literally just started working and I was like, you know what? Finally got my license. I invested in myself. When I got my license, turned around, I was like, all right, next pay, I'm going to go get me a car. Boom, got me a car. I'm making investments in myself to better me for a better future. And you're asking me dumb nonsense. Pardon? So I'm there, like, baffled at this point. I'm just looking at him because I'm like, what, what other slick, like, what other slick issue you're going to say now? Because now you're cheesing me. Like, I'm about to rip you to shreds even more. Because what are you saying? what are you saying like he would say some ignorant stuff and you just get so irritated and it's like don't do that don't do that because if i start going off on you you're going to be like hmm don't do that like there's so many other stories i got where i've cussed him out for some stupidness he said to me and i got irritated and reacted usually i let it slide what ends up happening is it just the more i let it slide the more it just keeps going, the more agitated I get. And then one day he would say something and I'm like, Phew, just like that. Cause I, I just can't do stupidity. I know ignorance is a bliss, so you just don't pay mind to ignore people, but stupidity is a, it's, it's a tough thing for me to ignore sometimes, okay? I'm sorry. So I used to cuss him out a lot. So I got more story times. If you guys are interested in more story times, 
about this particular boss i got you just let me know down below and i'll keep going but yeah that was that was literally the time that i was like it's it, there's it's two things and i don't know which one it is part of me felt like he was actually racist and the other part was like he's just so ignorant he doesn't realize what he's saying now which one is it i couldn't tell you but that cheesed me because what are you trying to say i don't i don't think things like that so for me to actually think that it's like mm, what are you doing what are you saying back it on up right so when he went about like that i was like hmm maybe like what because like some other people has heard like has had a conversation with him or heard him say something and it came off a certain way and they're like okay i'm pretty sure this man's just racist and i'm like i don't know like he said some slickish i won't lie but he's also not the brightest person i've ever met so i don't know if it's ignorance or if he actually is racist if y'all if y'all could tell me if he's actually just ignorant or in my words dumb if you if you guys can tell me based on this story if he's just straight up racist or if he's ignorant please let me know because till this day i couldn't tell you like i tell this story because i'm like <laughs> it still baffles me the fact that this man pays me because i work for him and his family at their clinic and he's asking me how i'm affording a car a nice car when i chose to invest in myself and in something that i wanted i want to do something nice for myself because i never had to I never got to do that for so long. I wasn't working like that. Like, I literally went from high school to like post-secondary and had no time to like, you know, do things for me. So I figured why not get a car? And you're asking me like, how am I affording this essentially? Like, what are you doing? And he would tiptoe around things. So like, I don't know. I don't know, y'all tell me. Cause maybe I'm just like, just so nice. I don't know, I don't know. Yo, that cheesed me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that day, it cheesed me so much. I literally cussed him out, and I ignored him for the rest of the night. And when my shift was done, I just did. And then I'm pretty sure I didn't go in the next day. But, like, <laughs> it was just baffling to me. Like, how could you say such things and you're the one paying me? I'm so confused. And what does me having something nice have to do with me? I don't know. I don't know, man. So, that was a story. That, that's, that, that was that, man. Let me stop. <laughs> Uh, can't make this up. You really can't make this up. Huh. Anyways, that was the story time of when I've actually realized, or I guess accepted the fact that maybe my boss was actually probably racist. And because the entire time I thought he was just stupid, but maybe he is racist or just straight up ignorant. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Leading up to that point, I thought he was just stupid, so... Sorry, God, forgive me. I thought he was just dumb, so... I don't know, maybe he is racist. Maybe he's just straight up ignorant. I, I don't I don't know, man. Y'all could... If y'all could figure it out and tell me based on the story, please let me know. Because I... I don't know, man. But yeah, if you guys want some more story times on my work experiences, especially with the medical clinic, just leave a comment down below and I'll give you some more story times. Um, I do have other things coming. I have story times of so many different spectrums coming. I have those streams coming from when I'm on Twitch. Y'all should really go to my Twitch. I'm Diamond Wolf. Follow me there. We'll have a good time. Like, I do post some of those on YouTube just so y'all could still, you know, go back and watch it if you guys had a great time or if you want to share it to your friends and stuff like that. But y'all definitely join those lives when I do it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, follow me on Instagram, get all the socials, everything's in the link below. Um, and yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys like the story time. Let me know if other story ideas or any video ideas you guys want to see. Let me figure it out and do it up. And that's it. Oh, Vlogmas. I am planning to do Vlogmas. Now, don't ask me how I'm going to go about with it. Because I can't even think of 25 Christmas things off the top of my head so that's gonna take some work to figure out but i am planning to do vlogmas in some way shape or form so you already know i'm dropping videos every day for vlogmas obviously so yeah stay tuned and thank y'all for watching and i'll catch you on another youtube video later y'all oh girl what you did i've been eyeing you like oh my goodness